Hey, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Um, in this Jim Dewey tutorial, I'm going to show you how to style the color uh, scheme for this template and also insert a background image, which is really, um, really cool that Jim Dewey allows you to do that. So when you're in your website in the editing mode, come back to style and go to color schemes. So there are some preset color schemes for this theme. You'll notice that the color here in the menu bar is different from this. So these are just preset. You can click on any one of them and you'll get that color. Alternatively, you can click on custom color and you can choose the color tone you want. And for example, let's just pick a light green and I'm going to click save. And as you can see, the menu right here is automatically styled. And I can accept it, reject it, or go back to editing. But the more interesting part is actually the background part. The background pattern here allows you to pick a pattern here to insert in the background area. So what's the background area? It's actually this area on the side. Okay, so now every single theme will have a different um, background area depending on the design of the theme. So in this case, it's just the ones on to the left and to the right here, okay? So you can either pick a background pattern or you can pick images from the Jimdo's library. But if you don't see anything you like, you can actually customize it by inserting your own custom background. So I got a couple of backgrounds prepared, so why don't we take a look at how it works. Go to choose file and I'm just going to pick a random one. So let's say this one here. The image that I picked is a smaller image because I intend to tile the small image across the entire background. Okay, so I'm going to click tile horizontally and vertically and this works the best if the image is patterned and so it consistently tiles the same way across. I'm going to click save and so you can see this pattern here is tiled across seamlessly and it's actually a gorgeous background. But what if you want a fixed background of, for example, an, uh, a scenic background? So why don't we go back and I'm going to show you something. Go back to custom background, choose file, and I have a formatted image here. Why don't we just pick uh, this one, for example. Upload. So because I want the entire image to uh, cover the background. I don't want a tile. So I'm just going to select do not tile. Um, and one thing is to make sure that the image that you pick is large enough to cover the span of the background. And I want the uh, image to be fixed. So if I scroll up and down, the image will remain stagnant. Save. And so there you go. This is the background image. Once again, you know, it really depends, what comes up really depends on the theme that you picked. So um, for this particular theme, this is the background I'll get. But this really opens the door for a lot of different creativity and how you want to style your background. And this is one of the secrets to making your website design beautiful.